Hello everyone, this is John Gilligan coming to you again from Living Faith Outreach in Dickinson, Texas. And first of all, I pray that things are going well for you and your family. You know, it's at this time right now where we're more, more focused on making sure that people we love are taken care of. I know I have some friends that I grew up with in New York that are in the hotbed of this of this virus. And so I've been calling and checking on, on them. I have a, my college roommate lives in Tennessee. I called him to make sure things are going well. So I think it's just a natural thing right now that we really take care of the ones we love. And uh, you know, during our live stream services, we've had so many people responding and, and, and people sending in prayer requests. And I want you to know that every one of these responses, my staff, they, they run off a copy for me and I read every single one of them and included in them are prayer requests. And we have the people in our church praying fervently for them. And as a matter of fact, we've got people that have moved away from our church, but they still want to stay in contact and they want to know the prayer needs that we have. So we send them these, these prayer requests also. You know, prayer is a very important thing during this time. I really believe this is going to be the answer for the defeat of this virus. You know, James 5.16 tells us that the effective prayer of a righteous man or a righteous woman avails much. You know, in 1 Timothy chapter 2, Paul told his young protege, Timothy, he said this, First of all, then, I urge that petitions, specific requests, prayers, intercessions, prayers for others, and thanksgivings be offered on behalf of all people, for kings and all who are in positions of high authority, so that we may live a peaceful and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. This kind of praying is good and acceptable and pleasing in the sight of God, our Savior. You know, if you really want to tap into the heart of God, you'll tap into a life of prayer right now. You know, we're, we really believe that we're supposed to pray the promises of God and not the problem. The, all the promises of God are yes and amen. So when you send forth the word, it tells us in the word that God's word will not return void. It will accomplish that which he pleases and it prospers the thing whereto it's sent. This virus cannot stay. It's got to go in the name of Jesus. It goes against the will of God for his people and all of mankind. So we're very confident in praying against this thing. And uh, so I want to encourage you to do the same. Uh, Jesus gave us some good advice in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 41. He said, keep actively watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So what's the spirit willing to do? It's willing to pray. You know, our flesh left to itself will do some crazy things. So that's real important that we stay built up in the spirit during this time. So I want to encourage you as you pray, just pray the promise of God. And, and I want to encourage you also uh, to tune in to our live stream services this Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. And we want to hear from you. Please call us, write us, email us, uh, text us. Uh, do, do whatever you can, but we want to know what's going on in your life. So until next time, God bless you, and we'll see you soon.